Welcome ladies and gentlemen, today is the 23rd of April 2020, it's 17 minutes past 7 local time. It's time for a little market overview, I try to cover the major markets outside of Forex as well as um, the foreign markets because as you will see, there's of course a connection between the two groups. Um, first of all, let's look a bit at price action I would say. Um, just to give you some orientation. Of course, we started with the S&P 500. So after the big stock market crash, um, it has performed quite a um, quite a pullback. Um, as said before, almost to the 50% level. But the base case is rather clear, and experienced traders know that it's much more likely that from here we're going to have a move to the downside than a V formation, as some people say on the internet. Let me just give you um, a general idea about the situation here. Um, the argumentation of the people of Bullish is, well, the Federal Reserve you know, has implemented its rescue program and will continue to do so. This has never been seen in history. It will push up markets to new highs. But um, the ones who have actually performed historical analysis, they will know that um, even a big rescue program like that uh, is no guarantee at all that markets will be pushed up again. Okay, um, secondly, if you have studied price action, you know that a V formation is a very, very, very rare. Okay, most of the time you have W's, M's, you have pullbacks, okay. A complete recovery to the highs would be um, just even from a price action perspective very unlikely. Fundamentally, look, we are just experiencing uh, the bad data coming in because people who studied economics they know there is a lag between the financial markets, the indices, and the fundamental economy. Okay, as Costolani said, for example, it's like a man and his dog. You know, sometimes the dog runs in front of him, sometimes. Uh, the dog lags behind. So um, it's a bit like this right now. So we will just experience all the consequences from the corona crisis. I mean, we talk about significant consequences for the global economy. And this will have an effect in stages, okay? The market is not a one-way street. It always moves in stages. It always does pullbacks. Why? Because the market needs to make sure that the maximum amount of traders loses. It's quite similar as an FX. And you know my work concentrates on the FX manipulation. And we'll talk about all this in a minute. So I try to really show you a big picture here. So we, we know those general principles out of understanding the market structure. But let's get back to the topic here. So fundamentally speaking, all the companies which were closed are still closed. The extension of the lockdown period, the reduction of international trade, international movement of people, goods, etc. Okay, all the industries which are affected, such as the travel industry, um, even down to restaurants and all that. We will see and feel the effects over a period of time, whether there is a rescue package or not. Okay. These are fundamental economic effects. And as you can see, look at the most recent US data. The data is weak, very weak. Uh, these things haven't been seen before in history. So let's come back to just a general description. So base case is a move down. We've already broken this trend line. Maybe in order to shake off sellers, they take out, let's say, 2,904 in S&P and clean the high or something. Okay, with a gap or whatever, but there would be good prices to short back into the lower range. And a good target would be 2,462 even. Yeah, these lows. So um, just keep that in mind for the analysis which is about to come. Remember, this is not the biggest market in the world. The biggest market in the world is Euro dollar. And this is our specialty. We come to that. Anyways, uh, let's look at oil. We have seen the dramatic crash in oil. We have seen negative oil prices resulting from the short squeeze and the future rolling. 
Um, so we had even minus 30 at some point. Now oil is recovering as expected. Um, all ETFs and so on can be shot at cheap prices for long term traders. Um, and you know, even if oil trades in the range for years to come, and even if it's capped at let's say uh, 30 40 dollars, you know, there will be interesting opportunities for long term investors. Every crisis brings opportunities. Okay, Bitcoin, these are all for our charts now 7490. It took out this high from today as I expected today, but overall. It has not proven to be a safe haven investment. It went down when the markets crashed. So actually a trend resumption could also <coughs> lead the crypto market to go down once more because investors also have lost trust in this as a uncorrelated investment. We live in a time where everything is correlated because of the algo trading. And here we see it. So this trend line would be some kind of target there. But I don't take trades in those markets because why? Why should I? We have we actually know what's going on as you will see in a minute in in the big markets in forex. Gold, it um, made this triple high here, uh, went up a bit, but now with a neutral silver after the significant down move, still at 15. But I'm not doing anything there. Maybe long term it would be interesting. Okay, so let's go to the big markets. Now, first of all, Euro dollar, okay, with more than 5 trillion daily volume. This is so much bigger than all stock markets in the world combined. Understand that. This is a big guy, not the S&P, not the Dow Jones, not the Euro stocks, not the FTSE or whatever, not the DAX, okay? This is where the biggest money is moved. And first of all, let's look here on the FO chart from purely technical perspective. We had the tight range and then the breakout to the downside as expected taking out this low here now at 1.0777. So the big question is if we get a trend resumption this time maybe euro dollar will lead equities yeah um, because it forex likes to lead other markets and if the dollar gets stronger and euro dollar goes down, this could be the beginning and the sign for equities doing some kind of trend resumption move. Of course, the low would be all the way down to 1.06. Um, um, and now let's take this one step further. Sometimes Australian dollar likes to lead Euro dollar. Okay. Now Australian dollar is moving in this consolidation here between 0 0.64 and on the lower side 0 0.626. So if we see some kind of uh, breakout in, in the Aussie, breaking the 0 0.626.24, for example, this could be a sign that, you know, um, markets will turn. So if Australian dollar does such a move and Euro dollar as well, you know, does a down move, this could be the first sign that equities are doing some kind of trend resumption move. Doesn't need to happen in the next two days, but as a general analysis, keep that in the back of your head. Cable, rather bearish, trading 1.2333. Sorry, 1.2337 um, recovered nicely from this incredible down move of more than a thousand pips in March, around the 50% level now. We have the low here with loads of stops at 1.2172. And then we have here this level where longest love to play stops at 1.18221. Now, the UK economy also has to deal with Brexit and what happens with that, of course. So that's an additional uh, fundamental risk there. No question about it. But the general outlook is rather bearish, especially if the dollar becomes stronger, especially if foreign exchange markets want to lead. And there is a trend resumption scenario coming rather than a V formation. Yes.
Okay, so let's now look at what's actually going on. Because, um, as we know, we see what's going on. So this is Euro dollar on an hour chart, now trading at 1.0787. And guess what? Look, right in front of our eyes, we see how the smart money took out those stops. They turn blue and then disappear, as they should on our live stream. So these were stops of dumb money longies trying to buy the market, betting on Euro dollar going up and who get kicked out for the stops uh, being taken. Here we see the longies. The green bus. Okay, boom, the one disappeared. So, let me analyze Euro dollar for you. <sighs> On the lower side, we have this stop accumulation here of Damani Longis, 1.0753. On the upper side, of course, you know, um, we have also stops um, starting around 1.0857. Yes. So we have uh, on the one hand longies in the market which get hunted right now in front of our eyes and then we also have um, stops of dumb money shorties on the upper side. So what the smart money likes to do in those scenarios is they like to clean the house. For example, with news items there's also some gap risk here. And they have already done that in a smaller way today because this move up here above the high was cleaning those dumb money shorties which placed tight stops to their short positions trying to get a good risk reward ratio. So what does the smart money do? Boom! Going up, cleaning out those stops, kicking out the shorties who were placed correctly, betting on a stronger dollar. And then guess what? Boom! Quickly going for the dumb money longies and their stops trying to buy a reversal. So this is already some kind of mini house clean which they did. Uh, and they always follow those principles. This is a very good example for the popular pre-MTS run counter move principle which I have shown so many times by now. First cleaning the other side, boom, then going to the target, yes. And uh, I will also show you, because it was interesting today and uh, the members in the live stream have seen and traded that and I've actually predicted this here. Look at that. Euro Yen had a nice stop on the upside. Boom! Went up for the stop. Once the stop of the shorties was taken, boom! Went down. Yes. Again shorties came in and placed the stop accumulation. Boom! Again cleaned it and now boom! Went for the target. And look, right now in front of our eyes we see how the smart money in Euro Yen cleans out the stop accumulation of dumb money longies. And look, there's even more stops below. Doesn't need to go there all the way. But look, they're just in front of our eyes while we talk. Take out this stop accumulation. And let me say, I'm so proud uh, to see our members understanding those principles, trading even those principles. And we had some great trade calls today. Congratulations. You, ladies and gentlemen, actually understand how financial markets really work. Yes. And you're able to avoid falling victim to all this market manipulation, which happens in those big Forex markets. As I said before, this here is a big market, okay? The Euro dollar, not S&P 500, not Dow Jones, not Eurostox, not FTSE, not DAX, or anything like that, okay? You can add all equity markets in the world together. They are a fraction of the daily volume of the huge euro dollar, which has more than five trillion dollars of daily volume. Okay, understand that we're looking at the big boy here, not in some small peripheral market. Okay, and as I said before, everything is correlated in those modern markets. So equities depend on foreign exchange. Okay, mm, oil has an impact on equities. Metals have an impact on oil and so on and so on. Yeah, we have times where the markets are dominated by all the algorithms. And of course, the algorithms are a bit different when it comes to different markets. Yes, so we see, for example, in oil also the market manipulation, but for example, fundamentals play a bit of a bigger role there compared to uh, foreign exchange markets, which is our specialty. So 
to make a long story short and to conclude all this, yeah, first I showed you the big picture with the price action. Yes, with the major markets. And now I show you actually on an hour chart euro dollar and what it does and uh, what's going on here. So in this particular situation right now, um, as you can see, yes, we have those stop accumulations um, above the price there. There still stops to be taken out. Yes, we also have here our target stops below the low of dummy, dummy money long is trying to buy a reversal, which uh, is not a great idea uh, when it comes to a potential uh, stock market trend resumption down, which would imply that the dollar gets stronger because there's again a flight to the dollar and people around the world and companies um, try to, you know, put the money into cash being uh, fearful of bond defaults, equity crashes uh, and all that stuff. And as we've shown before, cryptos are not a solution as it's clear now and uh, as it shouldn't be surprising. And while gold, for example, also went up, um, there's no guarantee that, for example, just because equities crash, gold will just, you know, make new highs and all that, even though it looks rather bullish right now. Okay, so simple ideas generally speaking simple ideas do not work in finance okay otherwise it would be easy there are meter levels to the game and i've talked a lot about this over the years and the ones who have followed me from the very beginning they know it anyways so it's not that we have a very very strong bias in euro dollar right now from a causality perspective okay that's not the case because as we, as i said before we already had in the last 20 hours some kind of mini house clean where they cleaned out the stops which were close to the price on both sides. And if they have a choice, they would like to actually continue that and take out as many stops as possible on both sides so that nobody can place like good risk reward trades. Okay, no tight stops. So do not, you know trade and place t tight stops in those situations. You will just get kicked out whether you were placed correctly or not. We know it, the short term games. Watch the video on short term games if you don't know that, what I'm saying here. But the analysis before expressed in last videos was good. Okay, the dollar became stronger. The money longest came in. The price was moved against them. Stops were cleared out uh, as you can see here. Um, in between, of course. Look here, right now in front of your eyes, you see how the smart money takes out, boom, this stop at 1.0779. Now it turns blue and then it will disappear as it should. There we go. So this uh, close medium term stop accumulation is eaten right here while, while, we, while I'm talking. Nice to see that. So if you believe that financial markets in 2020 are driven by supply and demand, you have no clue what you're talking about. I'm sorry. Okay, the big financial markets are highly manipulated. You need to understand that, otherwise you will fail in this game. There's no other way. You will fail. It doesn't matter what kind of strategy you're trying to implement. Okay, and uh, you need to understand that. Otherwise you will be part of the 95% losing majority. And certain parties in the industry will try to convince you that it's easy. Well, it's not. And let's use common sense here. If it would be easy, everybody would just be trading and not working. So that can't really, really be, be the case. It wouldn't make much sense. So anyways, I did a lot of good predictions. Uh, did nice uh, euro yen predictions today in, uh, in the live stream chat. And I show you that once more now. Look at that euro yen in front of your eyes. Look today, it took out the upper stops. The ones have watched it live, they know. Boom, twice took the upper stops, cleaned it out, and now going all the way down. Took out this big stop accumulation here, and now look, they even flirt with the big cloud. Doesn't need to go there straight away, but they can, they could probably. So, bearish outlook there in euro yen, which is not surprising considering how euro dollar looks like. Fantastic, great to have you all on board. Great that the buy side gets smart. 
Okay, it's now 7.47 local time. I was just about to upload the video I made and uh, I decided to wait a bit because as you can see, Yuri-Yen is flirting with this big stop package here. So if we're lucky, I'm able to capture this stop run as well live on camera. So let's see whether it will go for it. Okay, so let's not... Okay, so let's now look at what's actually going on.
Okay, so... Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Today is the 23rd. Okay, so... And here we go, 753, Euro Yen 150.696, going for the kill. So I'm going to add this to the nice analysis I just made. How cool is that? Showing you in front of your eyes the, the stop runs against the Damoni Longies. And Euro Dollar is going for the kill as well. Let me show you. This, yeah. There we go. Euro dollar is going for the next lower empty against the Damani Longies. Beautiful, beautiful to capture all this here for you. As you can see, Eurogenes appetite there. I'm taking profit on my shorts there because they gave me pre-run counter moves. But yeah, of course, you can try to, to write it all the way down to uh, 115.468, for example. I will try to record as much as possible here and then I will instantly upload this video. But it's great again to show like, you know, live markets with position runs, stop runs and all that stuff. This is what drives the X. I think uh, this point should be clear by now. Everybody uh, who is using the MK web, the live stream, the forum, well done. And remember, the cool thing is, no matter what happens in the future, all the time you invest into actually tape reading the market structure like here, nobody can take this away. Look at this. Boom. Look at that. First stop, turning blue, will disappear. The next accumulations. It may just, you know, it may as well just go for the kill. There's no reason for, you know, like taking them one by one like they like to do as well. They could as well just, you know, drop it to the to the big target and finish up the business. I think I need to restart the video now. I will do that then.
Okay, so it's now 7.58 local time. Still Euro again on the hour chart, 115.681. Took out the first accumulation, flirting with all the other ones which are lined up like ducks. All the ducks in the row. So yeah, that's basically the base case scenario unfolding in front of our eyes. Yeah? So leading euro dollar, dollar strength as the first pointer towards some kind of trend resumption move in the other markets. So this is just the next stage, the next phase in this market meltdown Yeah, we are in right now. In April 2020, Corona crisis still going on. Country still in lockdown. Economy still shut down. And high degree of uncertainty. Whereby the Federal Reserve tries to convince the market that the big rescue package will normalize things. But unfortunately, this is not how financial markets work. And as said before, we have the time lag between the fundamental economy and financial markets as well. So we're basically still in the beginning stage of this movie. Okay. This is um, still going on. And right here in front of your eyes, you see how the smart money cartel exploits all this for moving prices as they want. In order to make sure that the buy side is losing while the price makers are winning. And please, once more, okay, check out my work, check out the YouTube channels, the website. It's all nicely summarized for you. Now you will need to invest time, okay? Even if you are a subscriber uh, to the MK Web and live stream, as I always say it, as it said in the disclaimer, okay? I do not recommend you to just start trading straight away. Don't, okay? Respect the market causality. Study it first. It's not rocket science, but it's not super simple neither. You need to understand the different scenarios. You need to understand the logic those algorithms follow. Okay, we have basically here everything in front of us. Okay, I re-engineered the market structure for you kind of. So you still need to sit down and study all the principles and understand it. And again, understand, I recommend highly that you need to be subscriber to MK Web. You need to understand the long term charts as well. Okay? You need to, even if you're short term trading. And on top of that, uh, I also recommend the, the video course because there I explain all the meter levels. Okay? If you really want to understand everything, you need those three things basically. Okay? If you want to understand the pre run counter moves like here, for example, um, okay, go all the way. But look, you can do it step by step, all right? Start by studying the free stuff, which is out there. It's a lot. It's multi-year work of mine for free. Live trade videos, analysis, daily shots, and all that. Nicely summarized also by the website. Use a forum, okay? Post what you've learned. And then go the other steps, okay? And if you're already a subscriber, okay, observe how the market structure unfolds, take your notes, make analysis, right? I mean, I've really now provided you with the complete setup. You have everything at your hands, okay? You have the free forum, use it, okay? There are all the tools. I wish if I, when I started out, I had someone giving me those, those tools, but Apparently, I was the one who needed to do that, which is great. Uh, 
and uh, it's nice to see like this this group this team developing and of course everybody goes at their own pace it's fair enough okay some people are very quick and understand quickly other people need a bit more time it's fine okay go with your own rhythm and as i said first trade demo okay Tra trade demo and prove to yourself that you're actually able to analyze and execute efficiently prove it to yourself be patient don't try to make quick money getting rich quick is not the right way even if you're a short-term trader even if you're a one minute scalper you still need to think in the long term <coughs> that's the right way okay so respect the game <coughs> you have the chance now to outperform big hedge funds big traders but you will only be able to do that if you at least you know uh, sit down and do your homework please do it so right now you see it's doing a uh, pullback up because it took the first target so everybody like shorties need to be kicked out to a place correctly otherwise the shorties just make profit when they go for the main run <laughs> I didn't plan to make such a long video to be honest but since markets are really moving now and it's really nice and cool to see you know what I'm just going with it whatever I will just, you know, put all the different clips together and then quickly upload it, okay? But actually, this is cool to see all this live and and uh, it's it's a good way to actually make my point. Sorry, I don't want to be repetitive, but since we're sitting here, I just want to uh, cover some points again. Yeah, so they, today I've talked about how the different markets are interconnected, what the base case is. Um, what's actually most important, which is the forex market structure, the big markets, not the small ones. Okay, I've sh uh, I've analyzed uh, for you there the market structure right now. We have seen a live stop run in euro dollar. We have seen before the um, pre MTS counter move. The same in euro yen. Today in our trade chat, I predicted the short move in euro yen. It was a live trade call for me. So far, I have a 100% hit rate in the group. <laughs> but as I said before, remember, this is all just trade chatter. Don't just copy my trades. This is not the idea, yeah? The idea is not to jump on trade calls. The idea is that you learn it and you, you know, that this is in your blood one day. That whenever you approach a foreign exchange market, you think along those lines. Use this lingo. You know, you, you think, where are the, the money longies? Where are the shorties? Where are the stops? What is here the chart pattern? Where are the fake moves? Where are the post counter? And so on and so on. Where is the fake resistance? Where is the fake support? All these principles are relevant, okay? So the more you watch, the more you study, the more you practice, the more this will be ingrained in your brain and the better your trading will be and the more everything suddenly makes complete sense. And I can't complain because there are some really good people already in the group. I can't complain. There are people who make like really, like some of them daily calls, which are all very good. So I'm happy not complaining. Just get better, you know. Never stop. Always move forward. Always, you know, uh, become on getting better and better and better. Just showing you right now. Euro dollar. How it took the upper short term stop here. You see the little blue one. So the pullback is to take out the ones who are short and try to trail. So they get kicked out. And then, you know, they can clean out the low and go for the the empties at the low. You see? So that way they, they cleaned out nicely on both sides. Oof, this is going to be a big video in the end. <laughs> That's fine. It's actually a cool demonstration. Right, I also show you Australian dollar here. Um, there was a nice empty stop run, now it's too late. 
but probably wants the next one as well. Uh, as I said, that would be around 0 0.63629. And it would make sense if it goes down, trying to lead the other markets a bit. And then the other uh, euro dollar, dollar uh, euro yen, then follow this. As well as cable. Can I show you? Can let me show you cable as well. As I said before, cable is generally speaking bearish, and we have a nice stop accumulation at the low here. Around one point two three two two two. So as you can see, if you do a multi market analysis, that's helpful. And that's why I have the big markets on, on the stream, because that way you can actually conclude what derivative markets will do. Yeah. For example, if Euro dollar, let's say, is um, uh, neutral to bullish and cable is bearish, obviously EG will rather be bullish. And guess what? Often you only need to be right on one of the two input pairs. And you can predict the 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 other pair. Okay. But uh, I should maybe do a separate video about this one day. But everything here, it's like a concert. Everything is pretty much in accordance. And um, that's what you want to see if you do make those trades, which we did for, I think, th almost three weeks now. So very, very, very good work by the team. Um, I will try to put the trade chatter on the forum at some point, as I said. Please keep that in mind so that other people can also learn. But right now, I think I will just, you know, use this opportunity here to capture some live moves. I've done that before, but not for a while. Please understand also the live trade collection is on the other channel on Forex Reality. There's a complete live trade uh, collection, okay? On the SME channel, we have a few um, trade videos only. I was very uh, keen to separate those two because the live trades need to be, you know, recorded and you can see the upload and recording time and all that. There are multiple videos per trade, so I wanted to keep it clean. That was a good idea, I think. Okay, anyways, so I think I've captured enough here. So Australian dollar, you can see this going on, but of course this can take 30, 40 minutes. So <laughs> sorry, I don't want to make like five or videos. <laughs> you see the Euro Yen situation here with the nibbling. You see Euro dollar here, took out the upper stop now. You see cable here between those two stops and flirting with the low here. Yes, I think that's uh, enough for today. Okay, everyone, stay safe, happy trading, always uh, use reasonable risk management. You can mess up anything with bad risk management, okay? Have a policy in place, whether it's with stops or hedges or position sizing or whatever it is, okay? Whether you trade automated or, or manually, it doesn't matter. Have risk policy in place. Have awareness regarding the downsides and risks, okay? You need to be a risk manager as a trader. It's not enough to just find good entries okay so that should be clear but these are more basic topics and take your trading seriously and thanks thank you everyone who was like supporting this initiative thank you so much i'm over the moon yes and uh, as long as we grow steadily everything is fine and you know um this will continue so that's really nice and uh, I, I hope you all stay motivated and use this opportunity. Bye, stay safe.